Hello everyone, welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines. I wanted to kind of do an update here on the, oh now what do you call it, um, clear out that Tata, Tata used, uh, the weed killer. So, it's, it's taking effect, I guess it's going to kill all this tall Kogon grass. I'm surprised. I mean, it's not its not what I would call fast-acting, that's for sure. But it, this is all browning up. Um, whether or not it completely kills all this, I don't know. It's not looking... I don't know. It's Tata did this did field two here as well. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's well. You can see here that it's what was on the bank here is it, working really well on. I guess some plants it, it's more effective on than others, but uh, the plants out in this field it doesn't seem like it's a hundred percent effective the kagong grass yes but i don't know i wanted to check in between the rows of the raised beds and see how effective it is on that Yeah, you can see some discoloration it's kind of sort of working there as well so we shall see I personally saw him do these two rows right here I guess he did not do this one I had asked him to do in between all these uh, in between the, the the canals the ditches and all the rows but I think I can tell that he did these two when I was watching him but he did not do this one so you can see the difference between uh, those two rows so the uh, Ippi and Kansing have been, uh, let's see, they're not down here either. I thought they were, they were down here. This corn needs to be fertilized. I can tell by looking at it. Uh, that pale green is not going to fly. So I'm going to ask them to fertilize that. I don't know if they're going to get to it today. Because what I would wanted, wanted them to do is um, remove these beans and these tomato plants uh, this is all pretty much done right here this is in field five so uh, this portion here is is done the tomatoes you know we made a profit on them but it was marginal because we got like a month's worth of harvest off of them before the plants themselves just totally died and it didn't make any difference plastic versus no plastic again same thing over here these tomatoes all need to be taken out so we need to uh, uh, we've got the bean seed I wanted them to remove all these beans here and replant and just put beans right back here because that's what we've got uh, these produced for several months and uh, we're going to put beans back these here are just coming on 
Oh, I can hear him down there. There they are. They're cleaning around these beans. So, Tantai did not get in between these rows like I had asked. Uh, and he used that whole um, whole container. I don't know. I think it was uh, two or three liters. Uh, it was 1,700 pesos plus shipping. So, um, as, a, as far as it being cost effective, I really can't say. Did he do uh, as much with that Roundup as he could have done with the weed eater and the, for that, you know, so uh, three days worth of labor to top tie and 200 pesos worth of gas, that's what it would have uh, come out to. So, I don't know, toss of the coin, I guess. Uh, it's kind of a mute point now. I have not looked at the the weed eater, the mower yet. I really don't know what's wrong with it. Tata just said he thinks the gear has uh, failed in it. I think usually, in my experience on a weed eater, they they go awry. It's because the table the cable is broken. So we will see. I'm going to have them hand water these peppers. The cucumber here, the blight has gotten into them. Uh, there's too much rain. Uh, not in the last week, but the 10 days prior to that. Uh, two weeks prior to that, the off and on rain, just, I don't know. <coughs> I've come to the conclusion that cucumber and tomato uh, just cannot survive the blight. Now we've got Opo squash up there. That uh, I'm pretty sure the same thing's going to happen to it. But as you can see, these peppers all do just fine. The onions do fine. The beans do fine. The corn does fine. Uh, the okra does great. Uh, the eggplant, if we can keep the worms out of it, does well. Uh, cucumber and tomatoes. Mm, I think we've uh, we've learned that they're just more trouble to grow than they're worth. Tata should be finished with his projects with Maricel, and so uh, when he is, hopefully he's finished with that uh, rebuild of the dirty kitchen so that uh, he and I and uh, Impy, I think that's his name, uh, can begin on field two there and, and start fixing the rows. Field three is planted about a third of it. Uh, we've got to get more seeds. The bean seed that I had got, of course, is going to go uh, to replant that. Um, we don't have anything ready to transplant right at the moment. That's what I was going to do. I want to check and see how much uh, we can, how much, of, how many of these onions are available to transplant. We may just plant more onions over there. So really. beginning right here there's just not that many there might be enough to do two rows and that would be beginning probably in this row right here and what we can get out of that which would probably I don't know maybe three more rows maybe we'll do that this week where um, As we're catching up on this, on these fields where 
running short of things to plant. We do have plenty of corn seed. Uh, I can always buy more bean seed. The peppers and tomatoes we have up in the nursery are, are not ready to transplant yet. So Maricel and I will talk about it and see what we're going to finish planting in this. I'd like to finish planting field three here in a couple days and then we've got to start then we've got to figure out what we're going to plant in field two here. We shall see. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.